2019 began with a duel as the newly elected Speaker of the House challenged President Trump amid a government shutdown. President Trump has chosen to hold hostage critical services for the health, safety, and well-being of the American people. While the Mueller report loomed. Impeachment of Donald Trump began as a possibility, and an election in Ukraine somehow played a role in the drama of that possibility becoming a reality. I'm announcing the House of Representatives moving forward with an official impeachment inquiry. This is a scam by the Democrats to try and win an election that they're not going to win in 2020. The evidence of the president's misconduct is overwhelming and uncontested. The whistleblower needs to come before Congress as a material witness because he worked for Joe Biden. Beyond walls, immigration policies divided people. This wall is not something that can be really knocked down. I guess anything can, but this is very tough. And while gun reform laws seem possible in some places... Within 10 days of this horrific act of terrorism, we will have announced reforms which will, I believe, make our community safer. Enough wasn't enough in the United States. We're following reports of an active shooter situation. We went to sleep with the news of those 20 people dead in El Paso. You are waking up now to nine more people who've been killed in a second mass shooting, this time Dayton, Ohio. The mayor of Jersey City, New Jersey, says a shootout that killed a police detective and father of five and three other people was a result of a targeted attack on a kosher grocery store. The evidence points towards acts of hate. While the risks of climate change keep rising, the next generation of leaders made the planet their priority. Entire ecosystems are collapsing. We are in the beginning of a mass extinction, and all you can talk about is money. People are dying every day. And Europe continued to unravel. I will shortly leave the job that it has been the honour of my life to hold. This election means that getting Brexit done is now the irrefutable, irresistible, unarguable decision of the British people. Protesters around the world challenge leaders. Orders were challenged too. We oppose and are greatly disappointed by Turkey's decision to launch a unilateral military incursion into northern Syria. Hearing reports of a possible ceasefire deal that has been reached between the two sides. If so, it ends the bloodiest outbreak of fighting since the 2014 war. Abu Bakar al-Baghdadi is dead. And trade wars continued. Tariffs will largely remain. 25% on $250 billion. With the 2020 election approaching, Democrats arrived to challenge the president. We are not about trying to take away health care from anyone. That's what the Republicans are trying to do. Hell yes, we're going to take your AR-15, your AK-47. My campaign will now give a freedom dividend of $1,000 a month for an entire year to 10 American families. Donald Trump thinks Wall Street built America. Ordinary middle class Americans built America. A young and determined group shook up the status quo in Washington. This is the agenda of white nationalists. Whether it is happening in chat rooms or it's happening on national TV. Scandals were exposed. College cheating scandal is shining a new light on the admissions process at the University of Southern California. Jeffrey Epstein is accused of sex trafficking and molesting underage girls. Disgraced financier Jeffrey Epstein is dead. I'm fighting for my life and a new American addiction took hold. A fourth death has been reported from a severe lung illness linked to vaping. Women walk the walk and talk the talk. Be more, be better, 
be bigger than you've ever been before. Streaming wars commenced and babies took over the internet. New artists redefined genres and promoted self-empowerment. Curtains closed on the Iron Throne, the Avengers, and in a galaxy far, far away. And in our own galaxy, we have seen and taken a picture of a black hole. Exploration seems limitless.